the hardware cabinet saga continues. This time, the drawers. I started off by measuring out how big the space was and then cutting a template, taking consideration the sliders. Once I knew that it was snug from side to side, but it wasn't binding, I marked it and cut it to length so that I could put my front face on. This is now going to be the maximum size of my bottom drawer. And then the front face will go onto this, and then the final face will go onto that. Now I just need to turn this board into an actual drawer. So I cut pieces that were the same thickness as the actual sliders and then just laid them on there, marked it out to make it smaller so that they would be able to go around the outside and start gluing them on. And that is a beautiful fit. One more time. Now that the base of the drawer is all set up, it's time to install the sliders. And these are really easy. As you can see, there's nice little holes all the way along. You can slide the slider back and forth just to make sure you reveal them. But they've also got these little cutouts here and that helps to take out any variation in the cabinet of it, meaning pulling a little this way or pushing a little that way. It's really nice. They're so easy to install. And I, all, all I had to do was lie directly on the bottom of the cabinet and make sure that the front was also lined up. And just like that, sliders are attached, and look how beautifully those slide. The drawer was just as easy to install with these, especially since it was actually at the bottom of the cabinet, so I didn't have to hold it up or get any special clamps or anything. All I had to do was put a piece of material, just any sort of scrap, and put it underneath. This was going to be the clearance that my drawer was going to have from the cabinet. So it's about a quarter inch this material. And then after that, just line up my sliders and attach the screws. Doing the two front ones first and then pulling it out on that piece and just keep on going until I had it all attached. And then of course, a practice test and a little bit of excitement at just how beautifully this is working. You don't actually have to test it this way. Once I was done with my testing, I started on with the rest of the drawer, starting with the front, which was actually going to be recessed into the cavity because the main real front is actually going to go on top of this. This is just for structural, so I have something to attach all my shelves to. And just like the bottom of the cabinet, I put my spacer in so that it would be able to clear the bottom of the cabinet nicely, going in and out and not have any binding issues. The back was basically the same sort of idea, but I used a much thinner piece of wood because this is going to be more than strong enough to hold up what I need it to. And it just saves a bit of material and a bit of weight. Have I mentioned how much I love these sliders? These little brackets right here, you pull them up and it slides right off. Really easy. Made it extremely easy to get it to the ground so I could actually put the top on. I put the clamps on there to actually help hold it up in place so I didn't have to have eight hands when doing this. And now for the really fun bit. I can start putting in the shelves. I pretty much just made the shelves the same way as I did the base, making them out of kind of whatever material that was left over, even left over from the cabinets that were there. Cutting out a base, cutting out some cleats to go around it, and then just kind of tacking them all together, gluing them up, putting them in place, and just kept stacking until I ran out of space in the drawer. The one thing I did do differently though is I made these wider because at the bottom with the cleats the drawer is actually a bit skinnier so this one I was able to add about two inches as soon as I got past that first shelf. Remember this from last week? This is because I forgot to put in the top slider and account for the spacing it needed. 
This is also why when doing something like this, I do one at a time. And then as soon as I know it works, I move on to the next one. So this is how I actually went off and installed all the top brackets. As you can see, I screwed it all in, but I made sure that the front and back were actually only screwed in where I could still get to it. And then I just kind of adjusted to make sure that it fit. When doing projects like this, I try to make sure I've got a way of adjusting them. I'd rather have to adjust each individual cabinet by about a sixteenth of inch here or a thirty second there than have the sliders bind every time I try to open that drawer. I cannot tell you how happy I am with it, how this turned out. This is so exciting. Now that I know that this idea works, I can now measure off this one in order to build all the other ones. Now it's time for mass production. I'm really happy with how this thing is turning out. But if you want to see some other wood chipless videos that aren't about this cabinet, don't worry. There's lots of other projects around here. So don't forget to click some of the links and subscribe because you might just want to know how this cabinet turns out. I'll see you next time.